In this video, I am going to show how to download and install IntelliJ IDEA on Windows operating system. So, let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL and then click on this download button. Now select the platform Windows and then download IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate or IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Community Edition is free, built on open source. And Ultimate Edition is not free. It is free for 30 days trial. Now click on this download link to download IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Installer for Windows operating system or click on this download link to download IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition Windows Installer. I already have downloaded the Ultimate and Community both edition. After successful download, go into the Downloads folder and open the installer. At first, I am going to install IntelliJ idea community edition open this installer now select yes the setup will guide you through the installation of IntelliJ idea community edition it is recommended that you close all other applications before starting setup click on next to continue okay Setup will install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition in the following folder. To install in a different folder, click Browse and then select the another folder where you want to install. Then click on OK. I am going to install in the default destination folder. Click on Next to continue. If you want to create a desktop shortcut check this box and also check this box to open folder as project and check this box to add bin folder to the path environment variable restart needed and also check this box to create associations for java gradle and groovy Okay, check this box. Also, you can check the other box, then click on next. Select the start menu folder in which you would like to create the program's shortcut. Finally, click on the install button. It may take a while for installing IntelliJ IDEA community edition on Windows operating system. That's it. The IntelliJ IDEA community edition installed successfully and a desktop shortcut has been created successfully. Now your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of IntelliJ IDEA community edition. If you want to restart the computer manually later check this box then click on finish i want to manually reboot later so check this box then click on finish now i am going to open intellij idea now check this box to confirm that you have read and accept the terms of this user agreement then click on continue that's it IntelliJ IDEA community edition installed successfully now I am going to show you how to uninstall IntelliJ IDEA community edition at first close this and then open control panel
then select view by category and then click on uninstall our program now select IntelliJ idea community edition then click on uninstall button now select yes now check this box okay now click on uninstall it may take a while for uninstalling an installation completed successfully close now I am going to show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition so go into the downloads folder and open this installer if you asked a question from user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes the setup will guide you through the installation of IntelliJ IDEA it is recommended that you close all other applications before starting setup click on next to continue installation now setup will install IntelliJ IDEA in the following folder to install in a different folder click browse and select another folder then click on next to continue if you want to create a desktop shortcut check this box and also check this box if you want to add open folder as project and then check this box to add win folder to the path environment variable and also check this box to create associations you can check all of these boxes okay then click on next finally click on install button it may take a while for installing IntelliJ IDEA on Windows operating system that's it your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of IntelliJ IDEA I want to reboot now so check this box and click on finish after restarting the computer open IntelliJ IDEA now check this box to confirm that you have read and accept the terms of this user agreement then click on continue if you don't have a license claim the 30 day trial period if you asked a question from user account control do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app select allow okay that's it IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate installed successfully now I am going to create a new Java project click on this new project button okay now enter the name of the project I am going to name it hello Java then select the location where you want to store the newly created project this is the default location okay if you want to create git repository check this box otherwise uncheck and then select the build system and then select the JDK make sure that you already have installed Java JDK on your system if you don't have installed JDK select download JDK option and then select the version that you want to download and install then select the vendor 
from this drop down list and then select the location where you want to install the JDK okay then click on select I already have installed JDK 21 this is the latest LTS version of JDK you will find a link in video description how to install JDK on Windows operating system if you want to add sample code check this box otherwise uncheck and then expand advanced settings enter the module name here and also this is the content root and module location okay now click on the create button that's it now I am going to run this project this project will print a message first hello and welcome and then print numbers from 1 to 5 to run this project click on this run button java project run successfully I am going to run with a print line method ok run again that's it if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video